All right, in the hospital, I'm trying not to talk too loud, a bunch of people around. I've been here since last night. Uh, last night, I started getting very lightheaded at the library, very dehydrated, even though I was drinking a ton of water. Then I went to my car, I went to sleep early, like 6.30 at night. I was shaking, having cold sweats, then I, I was having diarrhea already, then I had to puke. And I puked a couple times. By 10 or 11 at night, I, I was shaking so much. And, and here's the worst part of it all, not even just the puking with my bad ribs. Uh, having like a flashback to the crash every like two seconds, one or two seconds. It was horrible, uncontrollable. I was having horrible, painful flashbacks to it. Whenever I have that, I have like vivid thoughts of like every horrible like atrocity and war and stuff. I, it literally, every time I'm in searing pain like that, it, it wasn't searing pain, it was like a different kind of pain, but um, every time I'm in a deep pain like that, all I can think is just the worst thoughts of, you know, uh, stuff from like wars and killings and, so, and how horrible and traumatic it is and, you know, how I don't want it to seem real. Um, and of course, you know, I'm not in those things, so I have the luxury of doing it, but just how uh, my mind keeps reeling worse and worse. So I barely drove myself to the emergency room, hoping they would treat me, not knowing, okay, it's an LA hospital. Are they going to think, oh, you're not shot or something? So it's no big deal. At first, the doctors were kind of skeptical. I said, can I get some painkiller or something? And I was waiting in the ER for like an hour. Uh, it was dreadful. I was shaking, hurting, about to throw up, wishing I could throw up. Oh, I got an IV in me. And um, over here, those things are for uh, my legs to prevent blood clots just because I'm lying down so much. It's good to prevent blood clots. Flex your leg muscles every few minutes. And I'm trying to flex my muscles in my body except right here so I don't mess up the IV so that I'm just don't feel too lethargic now in the ER last night it's like uh what time is it now I'm trying not to mess up the camera by touching okay I can't tell it's like oh there's a clock there 640 ow um I was waiting there for about an hour eventually eventually I um got in a wheelchair in the ER because I was just I was having I have my gym bag and stuff here and it was hard to carry everything I said can I get painkillers or something they're like no how are you getting home I said well I don't have a home but I'm gonna drive somewhere and they said no we can't give you painkillers if you're driving I said well I'll get a ride to a friend's place or something I this is horrible and uh you know after going waiting, seeing people over a couple times for the next hour or so, um, having to ask security to come over because two guys were going to fight at the vending machine. I was like, yo, security in my wheelchair. <laughs> um, and then I threw up three times in the trash can. I felt much better after throwing up, but still just nauseated all day. I still get this sense of memory of that crash, a horrible flashbacks. I must have had dozens if not hundreds of flashbacks to the moment of the crash and how it hurt my head not that my head was injured but like how it just hurt the sensation of having my body thrown and the glass shattering and the noise I was getting cold sweats shaking so much shivering thank goodness I got IVs today because I couldn't drink much I barely drank for like 12 hours and uh had one meal today. I had, well, a breakfast, but like non-solid. So like jello, soup, drinks. Insure makes an apple juice, apparently had that. And okay, they gave me an IV, something earlier for the pain too. It wasn't like a, a, one of those really powerful painkillers. It wasn't like morphine or anything, which I really didn't want. But it was, it was like, thank goodness I got IVs here and I got somewhere to sleep that's not my car where I don't really, it's not that I feel unsafe, it's just here I can, I know I can actually relax and my mind, if it spins out and if I don't have enough liquid, especially if I get dehydrated, my mind, I just keep the worst, most uh, terrible songs blare in my head from the gym and I get these constant flashbacks 
from the crash. I did finally tell my mom today about the crash. I filmed it, so I wasn't looking for I really wasn't looking forward to telling her about it. And uh yeah, oh, great. And the person's not here to answer the cell phone. I don't know if you can see these. Yeah. It's just pr to prevent blood clots. Um, why do people insist on having their phones so loud? I don't know. And then around here, I've only I've practically never heard it elsewhere. Um, when people are on the toilet in the men's room, phones loud, pulling them out, listening to videos talking to people loud. I swear I feel like kicking down the bathroom door and saying, shut the hell up. And they do that. But right now, I'm feeling much better than before. Even a couple hours ago, I fell asleep several times throughout the day today. So I was just exhausted, lethargic. Um, just feeling like hell. And worried that, oh no, am I going to keep getting flashbacks? Am I going to keep being unable to function? Um... Thank goodness they admitted me to the hospital. I had to do a little pushing, but also I guess they could see I threw up. I don't know if anyone really saw that. I was in the hallway, but maybe the security guards saw it, but I threw up three times, felt better. Um, all throughout the day today, I've been weak, uh, um, lightheaded. Like I said, just falling asleep multiple times for hours. This day's gone by so quick because I've just been falling asleep every, like, two hours. I don't know how much longer I'll be here. I did have a dinner that was nice. Fish, vegetables. It was nice to have actual food. Um, hey, Medicare for all. Why should people have to live in fear of getting treatment like this if they need it? Especially people who are homeless or really sick. I, for me, like I don't, I don't have a place to recover and recuperate and just stay. I can't just park my car somewhere for five days and relax and and uh, have someone get me groceries. Well, maybe I could get someone to get me groceries, but um, it, it's not good. And we need housing for everyone and safe parking. I was thinking, too, uh, it's not even like a, the most minuscule thought, the idea of quitting filmmaking and going to Virginia, so I don't even entertain that. This is not even a consideration in quitting all that. Um, this bed's kind of nice. It's got... It's got the, uh, what are I saying? The charger's plugged into the wall, but it says eight hours until I complete the charge. That's annoying. And uh, thank goodness people have been checking on me, asking how I'm doing, taking my blood pressure. Um, thank goodness my blood pressure is always good. Hey, this is one of the reasons I'm so big on exercising a lot. It's not just to be strong. I don't really care about that. I don't really want to be big. It's the idea that if I'm ever injured physically like this or get sick, um, that my body will have like more strength Uh to deal with uh, illness or injury and I'll have less recuperation time and less likelihood of greater injuries because you know my bones aren't weak my tendons aren't weak I'm actually kind of strong and I still am looking up how to improve my workouts be in better shape and lose weight I want to lose like 20 pounds of fat my face always looks fat I think Um, anyways, there's other stuff with, uh, like I said, the insurance and everything and the potential legal case I'm not getting into, but, um, thank goodness they're treating me, uh, well here, they keep checking on me. Uh, I had an ultrasound as well, um, just to make sure, you know, why I was puking, but I don't think it was food. Uh, I'm eating like the same food I eat every day, like, I, I think it was something to do with the accident. Uh, just me sitting in that car feeling the sense memory of all this twisted steel or twisted metal um, if I have to go suddenly it's because a nurse or doctor is coming in but uh, oh, thank goodness and this, this IV is taking its time good take your time 
This has been going for hours. I need it. I was just feeling so banged up. and It was mentally worse than physically. I couldn't even finish writing at the library. I was going to work on one of my screenplays. I had to get up and leave because I was like, I can't concentrate. Every breath, I feel like I'm going to pass out. And I went with some more diarrhea. And then I had to leave. Tried to get a, a, a juice drink, like um, vegetable juice. Uh, from a Vallarta supermarket here and uh, really good really healthy it's not like the, they just load it with sugar it's vegetables and then I puked the whole thing up over the course of the night all my puke was green so yeah. anyways maybe I'll get to spend the night here I don't know it'd be nice just to rest a little more and uh, just keep pushing keep making videos, keep working on stuff, keep writing screenplays. I'm so glad that my laptop works so I can keep writing. Got to wait for the uh, insurance claim to go through, all that. Um, you know, something's annoying about it, but got to deal with it. At least I got a rental now. And uh, man, I'm just realizing LA is a rough city. <laughs> Already here, I've seen so much screwed up stuff. I've seen fights on the street, fights in parking lots, um, near fight in the hospital, uh, the hit and run. I've seen other car crashes. Um, this is just a, so much trauma here, so much short sighted thinking, so much, you know, that dealing so much, um. Uh, you know, maladaptive uh, ways of coping with trauma where people just inflame their trauma. I wasn't sure if someone said my name. Hope y'all can hear me okay. But uh, I'm feeling much better than before. Still kind of out of it, still a little woozy. Trying to flex my muscles, not be too lethargic because uh, I want to get right back into my regiment, you know, be and eat even healthier than before, eat more health consciously try and make more money somehow I missed working on this movie it sucks it was going to be a free job but I still would have loved to do it obviously I can't do physical labor like this um, you know just trying to when I was having these flashbacks think un, like unclench that thought when I had this tension of you know just you know loosen that thought and just clear myself up and think about strength and moving forward and not just this constant reliving of this moment of uh, terror for me. It was like a nightmare being hit and just waking up my cars skidding down the road. I knew what was going on. I knew it was my nightmare. It felt like a nightmare in a way that my car was being destroyed and that I wouldn't have my home. But fortunately, I'm not really without a home. And then I got to go looking for cars. Hey, a lot of people supporting me too. But uh, also, like I said, there's no way I'm going to quit. It's not even a consideration. I, I'm only bringing it up because people said, like, go for... I can't even say the words. Like, leave? There's, there's no reason to leave. Um, there's a lot of reasons to try and make life better for people here. You know, in the greatest city in the world. Uh, because there's so much potential and there's so many problems. And the city can, you know... It's like one of the, the first to adopt, you know, new policies that are either good or bad that the rest of the country and the world models. So they can have, we can have the best ones here and let the world model themselves on that. Anyways, it's just nice to be lying down. So, uh, you know, stay tuned, subscribe, all that. If you want to donate, it helps because there's so many you know, things going on. Links are in the description. Like the videos. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to push harder than ever because I realized this was, you know, it was a lucky shot that I wasn't seriously hurt or killed. Think about it. If the car was coming the other direction, could have broken up my bones, broken my neck blinded me all kinds of horrible stuff I don't want to think about brain damage so and I was worrying was I having brain damage I was worrying do I have some kind of neurological thing from the car crash they did a CT scan in my head so it's all negative I don't know if that shows neurological damage but regardless whatever um, 
And they said there's it wouldn't be like a brain bleed or something because if it was bleeding for four days I'd be dead. So it's not that, but uh, you know, just got to keep pushing, try and not take for granted that you know I'll be safe in certain places and be ready, be prepared. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for a home still, but uh, it's just so horrible the renting situation. In L.A., there's so many people who pay upwards of 50% of their income in rent, 70%, 90% of their income in rent. So, that's that's ridiculous, and we give all these millions and millions away for uh, business development, quote, unquote, I can't raise this hand or else this alarm's going to go off on the IV. But um, we give uh, all this money for business development, meaning rich, white, uh, connected, and we don't want to see our black and brown neighbors do well because then it would make other people lose their sense of superiority. That's totally unearned. But they would lose that sense of superiority of looking down on them. Like, you, know, you, you deserve to drive that old beater. You deserve to live packed into an apartment. You deserve to have to work two jobs and cash your checks because you can't put any money in your savings. That's wrong. So we can do all that. We can address all that. And uh, now I'm just gonna try. I've still got to recover. I don't know when I can really work out and all that stuff. And gotta take it easy, get back into my routine, slowly build up my strength. I haven't lost a ton of strength, I don't think. It just, I have to make sure I don't. It's like if I don't eat for a day or barely eat, the next meal I eat, I feel like I'm gonna throw it up. So you gotta gradually, you know, get back into your routine.